Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-June 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aries. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Three of Wands. So you could be waiting for something, but it's almost like one of those energies of... Um, it's not waiting in vain. You did something, and based on that action, you're kind of waiting for a response to that or something like that. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Five of Swords crossed by the Ten of Wands. This comes through as a deceptive energy, and it's coming through a lot like one of those, you know, when we make things harder than they need to be for ourselves? That's kind of how it's shown up. A little bit of, yeah, this is difficult, this is hard, but we don't need to make it any harder than it is. Well, you are, or somebody here is. Um, in your focus, the Page of Cups, I mean, you're trying to keep positive here. I don't know what's going on, because I see the energy is pretty steady in a pretty good place, but then I see this heaviness from time to time popping in. And it's like, what the hell is that? In the recent past, the Four of Cups, you're looking upset about something. In your strength, the Ace of Pentacles, you keep on showing up quite positive here, quite optimistic about something, you know? In the immediate future, the Ten of Cups, that's happiness. A lot of happiness. Okay. Oh, supporting this reading, the Two of Wands, it's that waiting again. Hmm. Almost looks like you um, either applied for a job and waiting for the response. Maybe that's why the ups and downs in your energy. Um, or even, I don't know. I don't know, something else where you apply for something and then you're waiting to for that to, to kind of see what the hell is, you know, next. Um, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it, the Page of Wands. I feel like you're having a little bit of a hard time in this waiting period of time to keep yourself present, you know, because that's why the, the downs are there um because you're starting to overthink you're oh but what if it doesn't go through or what if this happens or what if that ha there's a lot of what ifs at a place so well, how does that help you know you in this situation it doesn't so i feel like for the most part that's why i'm seeing also this optimistic kind of an energy to you because you're trying to keep yourself as present as possible instead of allowing those thoughts to come in and take you places not great places uh in your hopes and fears the two of pentacles you're kind of like one foot in one foot out in this in, in this kind of a on hold kind of an energy um it is messing with you though because even even if you are trying to be present that doesn't mean you're succeeding all the time so that's why it's kind of up and down and up and down and up and down. It's it's almost becoming a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Um, and ultimately, you're showing up as kind of exhausted by this ride that shouldn't even be here, but it is. Um, for, the, for the potential outcome, the Knight of Cups. I mean, I'm not sure if that's the outcome of the waiting or just the outcome of how you're kind of balancing out the energies but whatever it is, whatever it is it looks really really good so okay uh let's clarify let me do the three of wands the five of swords the page of wands the two of pentacles you're you're looking for it you're looking for trouble here so well, let's say it is, this is just an example, but let's say it is one of those jobs that, you know, have like 10 positions to fill. And um, while you're waiting, you're like, okay, okay, you know, we'll just kind of not think about it or that specific situation, that posi those positions and all of that. And we'll just 
kind of wait for the call or wait for, you know, we'll, we'll just be with what is. No, 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 no. You check every night to see how many spots are left. Oh, nine. Okay. Okay. So somebody got it. Okay. It wasn't me because they didn't email me or they didn't call me. No, no, no. You know, it was like. Okay, okay, we're good. We're still good. We got nine spots left. We're good here, you know? But every night you go in there and it's like, you know, two weeks later, it's like, oh, oh shit, there's two spots left. What the fuck, dude? You know, so it's, it's you're just increasing that whole craziness aspect of it. Like, stop doing that. <laughs> That's what's kind of getting you into trouble here. That's what's creating the roller coaster. Why do that instead of just letting things be? If there's a deadline to it, okay, you'll find out the answer on the 30th of the month, then so be it. No, you got to check every night. No, no. Mm. I'll just look this one time, I promise. And then, you know, the next night is like, I can't help it. I, I couldn't help it. Huh? No. Oh, man. Yes, you can't help it. For the Five of Swords, you get the Four of Swords, the Judgment card, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, where's the trust at? Where's the, hey, let's trust the universe. If it's meant to be, it's it's going to happen. If not, let's see what's next, you know? Um, you're showing up with, with this sense of, I trust the universe. I'm chill. I'm cool. Trusting the universe with this one? What do you mean? Bullshit. It's tied up to the Five of Swords that's tied up to this energy that's looking every night. You know, it's checking every night. So no, you don't trust the universe if you have to look. Um, I trust. Trust is my middle name here. Um, Ten of Wands. You get the Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Two of Cups. This is a commitment type of thing. It looks good. It looks good. But it's suffering from this situation because you're probably going through a lot of stress while waiting here. So there is a commitment here that shows up in a good, loving kind of an energy. But it is affected by, you know, you stressing out about something else. Not even, uh, it doesn't even belong to this commitment, whatever you're stressing about. Okay. Let me do the Page of Cups in your focus. The Sun, the Page of Swords, the Fool. This, this, that's the spirit. This is that energy of, all right, I'm going to try to keep present, keep positive, keep like, keep on keeping on here. And it's good. It feels good. So I see you stepping into these energies from time to time. Um, they're just not lasting because then nighttime comes and you have to check. Stop checking. Um... But anyways, let's do the Ace of Pentacles in your Strength, the World card, the Moon, the Strength card. Oh, shit. Ah, this is so tied up to you trusting the universe that it's not even funny. There's something that's not panning out, but it's not panning out in order for something else to show up for you. So I'm not saying if this is a job with 10 positions and you're down to two and it's like, oh my God, you're saying that I'm I'm not getting it? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying there's an energy here that looks a certain way, that looks like that's it, but it might not be it because it leaves room for something else, uh, potentially even better. But you have to... <laughs> All of this plays around trust. All of this plays around... Stop looking for shit here and just trust that everything's going to be falling into the right place here for you. Even if it doesn't feel that way in the moment at times. Um, let's do the Ten of Cups in the immediate future. The Three of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. You also got to understand how sometimes um, these experiences that we're going through at an individual level, they might affect the relationship, the close relationships we are tied up to because our, our energy is affected, right? So it makes sense. If I'm stressed out about something, no matter how much I'm trying to not bring it home, it's going to be home because I'm home. It's going to be with me. 
part of my energy. So somehow it's going to show up home. Somehow, I don't know how. But somehow it is affecting the closest relationships to us, whatever, whatever this is. Because I feel like this hasn't been going on for like, you know, two days now. It's It's been here for a minute. Uh, let's do the two of wands. For the supportive energies, the six of swords, the five of cups, the queen of swords. And then you're entering a little bit of conflict with this energy that comes through of, if I want something done, I'm going to get it done, God damn it. Okay, but what does that have to do with this situation? Because if you have to wait, you have to wait. What are you going to do? Force them to give you an answer today when the due date is, I don't know, in 20 days? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you're also showing me that you've tried that in the past and you failed <laughs> at, at doing that in terms of, again... Something's meant to be, it'll be, with you interfering or trying to control it certain ways or not. Um, if something's meant to be for you. So taking the stand of, if I want something done, I can do it myself or I'll get it done. I don't know how that's going to help the situation, but... And you're saying, you're even saying, oh, it's probably not going to because, you know, it failed in the past. But er, there's, there's a little bit of you kind of, I got to do something. Yeah, trust. That's all you can do. No, you're kind of going in the physical aspect of things. No, I got to do, no, I got to do something. Okay. Uh, for the page of wands, for the energy that is hidden... The Eight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Hmm. This is interesting. Because you're saying to me almost something that I just said to you. In terms of if someone's going through something and if they're close to you, um, you're going to feel you know, that interference of that energy within your dynamic. You're kind of giving me a sense of, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going through something like that with someone and I'm kind of trying to stay away while you're doing the same thing. Potentially around somebody else, another connection you may have. So... So on one hand, you're saying if my best friend is going through crap and I can't really help them because they would have to figure it out on their own, but I'm here if they need anything, um, I'm going to stay a little bit away from those energies that they're experiencing because they're crappy and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I'll help them with anything they need. Just don't pour that shit on me. You're kind of doing the same thing at a different level, but kind of the same thing here, where you're bringing some energies home. They're not as um, nasty as the ones you're showing me here for whoever, but, and this is not the, the acknowledgement of self that you're doing that, this, somebody else. It's almost one of those mirroring aspects. While you do that to others, you're probably doing the same thing. Well, it while others are doing that to you, you're probably doing the same thing to others. Um, it's reflected onto you so that you kind of realize it's a mirror aspect there. Uh, for the two of pentacles in the uh, hopes and fears here, you get the knight of pentacles, the temperance card, the two of swords. I mean, it's the eternal struggle with patience. Because up until this point, I didn't get that sense of uh, patience at all you know i just got the sense of you just don't trust enough but now you're kind of showing it to me of well sometimes you know i wish i would know the answer faster that's lack of patience right there you're struggling with this i don't know what's making you wait here but it's quite um 
you're trying to keep optimistic you're trying to keep present you're trying to to not fall for that whole mm, let me let me let me check but <sighs> uh for the potential outcome for the knight of cups you get the six of six of pentacles nine of cups six of cups um all the stress for that it looks like the potential outcome is looking pretty good it's one of those everything's gonna be okay and then i'm looking at all of this and i'm like why do you have to go through this then if that you know if that's the outcome because we do because we learn from these things that's why because that's how we heal and that's how we learn and hopefully you'll freaking learn to trust next time because that's all you need to do here. Stop checking. Start trusting. Sometimes it seems so ridiculous when I see these readings of, you know, there's so much struggle and so much this and so much that. And it could be that there isn't as much struggle but we have to go through these experience in order to learn from them and then the outcome is like oh everything's fine don't you worry about it I'm like okay too a little too late without worrying about it um from the universe you get the five of wands the justice card the nine of swords this is just your struggle having a little bit of a hard time to keep yourself balanced um, and again, the major lesson here is trusting. Once you do that, but truly feel that deeply, everything's going to fall into place in the sense of you dealing with the situation where you will feel more balanced. You will, you will stay more in that place of keeping it steady and just kind of seeing how it unfolds, you know? Let's do messages from the universe. This stressful situation is almost coming to an end. See? We are sending positive energy, financial financial help, miracles, and life-changing blessings your way. We told you the outcome looks good. The universe said so too now. So, anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.